Hi and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I'm super excited about this week's Catch Up With Me video because I have a lot of things to share with you. So we're going to jump right on in. But before I do that, I just want y'all to see that I am drinking my apple cider vinegar. I only took like two sips. That's why it's still kind of full. And I'll finish this up when I finish doing this video. And I'm still sticking with that. I might as well throw that in as an update. I'm still sticking with it. I drink it every morning faithfully. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Every morning faithfully, I have my apple cider vinegar before I even leave the house. And so, so far, you know, I'm, I'm loving it. And I would encourage you to drink your apple cider vinegar. And I do know some people that do it twice a day. Some there, And then there's some people that do it three times a day. I'm doing good with just remembering to do it once a day, so I'm good with that. And so, you know, that's that. But again, next month I'll come back and give you an update on my weight loss journey as I'm still working on that. So let's jump right on in with this week's planner layout. Here it is. I'm loving these colors for this week, you guys. It's just doing something for me. And you will notice I have two special days on my calendar this week, my brother celebrates his birthday on Thursday, the 21st, and my boo thing, Frankie, celebrates his birthday on the 23rd, so I'm super excited about both of those, and y'all, they're both old. <laughs> I get better, they just get old. Next on my list, so I have been toying around, I think I told you guys that I put together a youth writing workshop. And it was going to be like a four-week course, I think it was. Well, I've been thinking about just making it a one-day workshop where, you know, maybe we start at noon and go to six or something like that. Um, so I'm still working on that idea. And I also wanted to do a youth YouTube workshop. So those things are things that I'm currently working on. Of course, as always, I'll keep you guys in the loop as to how that ends up being and as of right now I don't think that I'm going to charge anything for either one of those workshops I'm thinking about that I, I, I probably won't just because you know they're young people and it is what it is and I, I do have a heart to help people so I'm really thinking about that so we'll see but I, I'll keep you updated on that and what else um, oh don't forget about the upcoming meetups, you guys. Pretty Pampered Paid will meet on the, th I believe it's the 30th. I'm going to double check the date and I'll put the link in, in the description box. But don't forget, the Pretty Pampered and Paid meetup will happen on the 30th. <clears throat> so we are two weeks out. And, no, actually a week out because that's next Saturday. And so I really, really want you guys to come out. This, like I said, this is an opportunity for us to get together get to you know really know one another because this group has changed since i joined it about what a year almost two years ago now i think and so it's an opportunity for us to get out get out get together i'm sorry and meet each other and let's talk about how we can grow our businesses hopefully we can talk about some networking projects together some collaborations all of that good stuff and so i'm really really excited about that and people are joining it seems like every day I get a notice that someone has joined the, the group, so I'm excited about that, as well as people are signing up for the meet uh, the meetup. And unfortunately, the space that I'm using will only accommodate 30 people, so once those spaces are gone, that's just it. So that's why it's important that you go and join, you know, go to the meetup link and say you're coming, because if you show up and I don't have space for you, then, you know, that's going to be awful. Next on my list is the podcast update, so still working on that. Mark and I will be doing a dry run, if you will, to... So we're going to pick a topic, and we're going to talk about it and, and see how long that conversation can go before, you know, it just kind of fizzles out. And my goal is, my goal is to make whatever topics we talk about no more than 30 minutes because I just believe anything more than 30 minutes, you know, you start to lose people. So that's the goal to be able to talk about it for at least 13 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes is not bad either. Well, I'm going to say, I, let me say this, 20 to 30 minutes is good. What I do not want 
is to have hour-long podcasts because I'm be honest with you I'm probably not going to ever listen to an hour-long podcast unless it is really really good and it just has me you know just has grabbed my attention I can't let go other than that I don't really want to do our long podcast so like I said 20 to 30 minutes I think it's good so we're gonna we're working on a topic that we can talk about to do a test and see how how it works out because I think I told you guys I have an app on my phone that I use to record my audio files and it's wonderful and I have a microphone that I don't have it with me but I have a mic that I plug into my phone and a lapel mic is what it's called and I just you know clip it onto whatever shirt I'm wearing and I'm recording so the sound is amazing I love it love it love it and it's a free app you guys so I'm gonna use my phone to record the podcast and I think he's gonna use his his Mac uh, laptop to record it and let's just see you know how that sounds so I'm excited about that so I'll keep you guys posted and I'll let you know where you can find it and all that other good stuff once once it's up and running I did have a launch date for this month I'm not sure that we're gonna make that so it may not launch until sometime early July so again I'll keep you posted and next on my list I have two new audio files that I'm so excited about and they are letting go of your past and that was that I was moved to do that one because you'd be surprised at how many times I talk to people and they can't move forward because they keep holding on to stuff that happened in their past and I'm like mm, I understand it hurt what that person did to them was was just horrible however you can't keep living in the past because if you do you can't move forward so I did that audio file and then I did another one coming overcoming negative thoughts because honestly you guys it's our thoughts that keeps us from being able to move forward and so I want to talk talk about so I'm talking about how to overcome those negative thoughts and go out here and be the amazing people that I know that you can be and that you are next on my list you guys I'm super excited because I did some I made a few revisions to the 21 day gratitude journal and I took it to Staples and had the little spiral binding put on and it has a clear cover and uh, a blue back they were out of black so I said well you know blue is fine because there's a little bit blue in my logo so I'm super excited about it and like I said I went in and made a few changes so this has been re-uploaded to my selfie site so I would encourage you guys I would encourage you to get your copy um, I'm so proud of this and like I said this this thing took me like a day maybe a day and a half to write it and I've just been you know tweaking it along the way and this was a few months ago so but it is it's up and running and like I said it's 21 days of, of of gratitude and it's just it's just amazing thing and I'm see I just happen to open it up to day five and it says what are the everyday things around you that make you grateful every morning that God allows you to open your eyes and take your first breath of the day so for day five and let me just show you what the page looks like y'all see my y'all see me in my little watermark how cute is that so each day it has something that that you're supposed to do and this one talks about like I said about what is it that you're thankful for every day and you take and you write here I have space provided and I created uh, a second page of line uh, space for you to write because if you're like me I write big and take up a lot of space but each day you're you're writing down something that you're grateful for there's even a day in here, and I don't recall which day, but there's a day in here where it asks you about that person that you just can't stand. I mean, they have just rubbed you the absolute wrong way. What is it about them that you're grateful for? Because I believe that you can find great gratefulness in everything, even things that you just can't stand. So I want to encourage you to get your copy of this journal. Right now, this journal is 20 $25. I'm thinking about doing a sale on it. Uh, we'll see just I'll leave the link in the description box just go check it out so again that's a 21 day gratitude journal and I also made some changes to the how to create products how to create digital products and start a YouTube channel that look at my cute little smiling face there so again I took this one to Staples and got a spiral bound same thing this one is $25 I'm thinking about putting it on sale for a couple of weeks so again the link will be in the description box for both of these go check them out get your copy get your copy okay now 
I will say this, when you download your cop, when you pay for your copy and you get it in your email, it is not going to come like this. I will not be mailing these out. So when you get it, you will print it out. I would say use some really good heavyweight paper and take it to Staples or Home Depot or not Home Depot, Office Depot or where, wherever, Office Max and get, get it spiral bound so that way it'll last for you. And let's see what's next. Um, oh, speaking of audio files, I have, you guys, I am always coming up with topics. When I tell you I am always coming up with topics, and I forgot to bring it with me before I started recording, but anyway, I have a stack of audio files, I think it's like 15, that I need to record, but that doesn't even include the four that I had that I actually started out with. I had four that I was going to be doing. I did the two that I just told you about, and I had two more. So now I have 15 more to add on to that. So I've now got 17 audio files. But the, the, the new stack, what I'm thinking about is some of those audio files will actually have workbooks with them. Some of them will, yeah, some of them will have workbooks. Not all of them, but some of them will. So I'm excited about that. And, of course, you know, I'm going to let you all know when I, when I do them. Next on my list, you guys, I wanted to, so here's my little notebook, and I get these from Vistaprint, and as you can see, this has an M on it for my in my name, and it has my name at the bottom, and my, this was for, I ordered this one with my, for my writing, but what I decided I'd use this for, and I think a few weeks ago, I showed you two new spiral notebooks that are over there that I just recently ordered, but what I use these for, I keep these in my purse, because ideas come to me and I need to write them down because I don't want to forget. And sometimes I send myself a text message and then you know how it gets lost in that stream of text messages if somebody else sends me a message. So I keep this in my purse and I write down my ideas, my goals, my dreams, my aspirations. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is last week I told you guys that my pastor, pre actually week before last, preached and his top sermon topic was Pray Big. And I mean to tell you, y'all, that word has just resonated with me ever since, ever since. And so what I did was I took and wrote down what I'm praying big for. So I'm just going to show you this real quick. So this is what I did. I wrote down what I'm praying big for in 2018. And I came up with so far 33 things that I'm praying big for. And what I decided to do is that every morning that I wake up, and I say my morning prayers, which I did this morning, I read off what I'm praying big for. And I'm asking God for these big things that only he can make happen for me. And then every night before I go to bed, I'll pray and read this list off again. And I'll do that every day, every day, until I accomplish the things that's on this list. And as I do, I can cross them out and put dates by them. So I'm excited, y'all. I am so excited about the direction my life is taking. I'm excited for the things that I've written down in here. So I want to encourage you guys to do that. I told you to pray big. You know, um, my pastor, he talked about how God wants us to pray big. He doesn't want us to ask for those little bitty prayers because those are safe prayers, you know. And those are things that you that, that you can reasonably expect to have happen. But he wants us to pray big. Well, we're asking for things that are so big that only God can make happen. So I want to encourage you. Get your notebook, you guys, and, and write down the, the, the big things that you're praying for. You might be praying for a big house. In fact, I have that in here. But And be specific. Not just, you know, Lord, send me on a house. No, be specific. You want a four-bedroom, a deck, uh, an office, a four-bedroom, three baths, uh, a big kitchen with a huge island, whatever you, the, the specifications you want for your house. When you pray big, be specific, because that's exactly what I did in my book. So I'm excited about that. And a couple more things I'm going to let you be. So I recently, and this is not the first time, let me say this, that I've purchased this product. But there's a, a lady that come, goes to my church, and her name is Miss Pat Young. Pat Younger, I think it is. Let me double check. Pat Younger, yes. Sweet as she can be. And she makes these, uh, shea, this is whipped shea butter, and it's Adana Natural Bath Products, taking care of your temple. Let me show you what the, the label looks like. Hopefully you can see that. 
and so this is the packaging that it comes in and she has a jar that's bigger than this one as well and so on the back the label says recommended use after shower or bath keep away from sensitive areas of the body fragrance may be irritating may not I don't have any problems with it use sparingly because a little goes a long way and she is not lying honey you put too much of this stuff on you're gonna be shining like new money and store in a cool environment enjoy and this this is mango simone and i actually bought two of these but i think i only need to show you one so i bought two of these because this is my favorite you guys and it contains shea butter lanolin Je jehova olive argan vitamin e oils and fragrance and so i'm going to leave in the description box miss pat's email address as well as her website please go and check her stuff out and I love that she talks about how she came up with this with this product in fact I just ordered two more uh, um, sent two more of these from her they're not Ma uh, mango Simone I forget the names of them but I'll show them to you next week so um, yeah I can't wait to, to get those to try them. I, I, she gave me samples. Now, that's the other thing. She will send you samples. And these cute little uh, jars. And she will send you samples. So, reach out to her if you're interested. She's here in the DMV area. I'm pretty sure she would probably send them to you no matter where you live. But just, you know, reach out and check it out. Love, love, love it. Okay? So, yeah. Get that, y'all. And I use that. And, and I don't even put on lotion anymore. I put some on in the mornings. And I'm pretty good throughout the day. Now, I tend to ash up. So, I may have to replenish my legs anyway later on in the day. But I love it. Especially, oh, one last thing. Especially when you get out the, the shower and you put this stuff on and you get in your bed and go to sleep. Y'all, when I tell you, it's like being in heaven. Anyway, moving on. So I went to GNC because I needed to stock up on my supplements because I had run out and or I was running out. And so I got me, I was going to get some um, protein powder. And right now I'm using, I have just a little bit left, I'm using the muscle milk. And so I went in GNC, I just knew they would have it, but they don't. So the young guy that worked there, very knowledgeable with his cute little self, and he said, well, he said, have you ever tried a plant-based protein? I said, no, I don't think so. And so I tried the Vega Protein and Greens Vanilla Flavor, and it says made with real plant-based food ingredients. It has 20 grams of protein. Fruits, and, uh, vegetables, and greens, 110 calories, and no sugars. And this is what the packaging, yeah, this is what the packaging looks like right here. So I can't wait to try it. Like I said, I have a few more scoops left of my muscle milk, and then I'll be getting into that one. So, you know, I also was out of my BCAAs, and so I went, I was going to, what I was going to get, I forget the brand name, but I know it when I see it, the young man said, you know what, why don't you try this one? So this is the GNC Pro Performance Amino Full Spectrum Anabolic, Anabolic Amino Formula, and it's, you get 120 uh, soft gels in here, and this was $19.99, I believe. And so this is what the packaging looks like. They had a bigger bottle. I said, well, let me just try this one because I need to make sure it's not going to be harsh on my stomach. So, so far, so good. And I love that they have the chart on the back. And so for light activity, you take one of these three times a day with a full glass of water. And if you have moderate activity, activity is two a day three times a day and if it's high activity you take three of these three times a day and this of course aids in your muscle recovery so I started using that already next on my list I bought something that I had been in need of for a while and that's my C4 because I love this stuff you guys so when I went in to get my C4 the young man says have you ever tried C4 ripped and I said no actually I have not what is that and he said this C4 let me show you the packaging this is C4 ripped right here and the flavor is cherry limeade and this also helps with your weight loss, you guys. So I said, oh, yeah, let's try that one then. And, of course, there's, I like that there's a chart back here on the back. I'm not sure if you can see it. But this chart actually tells you based on, let's say, if you're looking for bigger muscles, it suggests that you get the C4 Sport. Uh, you can use the C4 Original as well as the C4 Zero, and the C4 Rip. So for muscle gain, you can use all the C4s. And I didn't realize there were so many of them. So can't wait to try this. I probably will try this later on today. 
because today is leg day and you want to take this 30 minutes prior to your workout and you want to take it again with plenty of water while you're working out you need to, to drink plenty of water the only side effect of this that kind of irritates me just a little bit is the fact that I start out with this tingling tingling sensation well, I should, no, not tingling, itching. This itching sensation in my scalp. It makes my scalp itch, and then it moves down to the, 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 the tops of my ears, and then my face, and sometimes my neck. After you use it a while, it's, you don't really notice it as much. It probably still there. I just didn't notice it. But when you first start using it, and it's been a long time since I've used this. When I say a long time, at least a year and a half, if not two years since I've last used this. So... It does kind of make you itch a little bit, but I love the, um, the the extra push that I get in my workout. When I'm taking this stuff, honey, I'm like a beast straight, you know, going straight for a target. You hear what I'm saying? It just gives me that much energy, and it helps me to, to really push myself a little bit more in my workout. Now, I will say this. It also kind of makes me into a different person. I, let me just, I'll say that. So I went to, a few years ago, I went to my nephew's, my oldest nephew's basketball game. And this lady behind us, her son played for the other team. And, you know, she was clowning and stuff. And so my sister-in-law said, you know, these are kids. Why are you saying such ugly things? And my sister-in-law and the young, and the lady got into it. Then my sister got into it. Now I got to get into it. And I had taken my C4, the plain C4, not this one, because I'd worked out earlier that day. And, y'all, I was like a raging animal. Can I just tell you that? And, and I, I was going to snatch that woman ten ways from where she was sitting. So my sister grabs me, my dad grabs me, and, and my brother grabs me, and I'm determined that I'm going I'm to snatch this one because, I don't know, what she said, it just made me snap. So that stuff takes you to a whole nother level, so be careful when you take it. And, and it just got real ugly. Luckily, she and her husband got thrown out of the basketball game, and I did not. So, anyway, so that was, that's that for my supplements. And, y'all, I'm super excited about my new cup. Hey, look at that. So I got me a new cup with my spider-man on it and as you will see it has the justice league logo right here so i'm excited about that now that cup right there i'm gonna put up because i actually bought a superman cup and my child used it and guess what i haven't seen it in over a year so i will make sure that when i wash this cup out that i immediately put it away so that that cup does not walk away because the other one i had only had it for a couple of months so that's what it is that's how it is when you have kids and last but not least, you guys, we have an Ipsy bag. So excited about that. So let's get into this. And, ooh, look at this bag, you guys. Loving that, loving that. And the back is just plain. So loving that. And I love these little, um, the little charms on the zipper. So, let's see what is inside. I always like to find the card. And, oh, okay. So, at Ipsy, Pride Month is about so much more than sexuality. It's about the unique beauty, self-expression, and inspiring everyone to be completely themselves without fear of judgment. That's why we're highlighting seven LGBTQ plus creators who know that what makes them different is also what makes them beautiful. And so hopefully you can see on the front of this card, these are the contributors to this week's, this month's Ipsy bag. And so that is absolutely beautiful. Now let's get into this bag. This is the Charcoal Clay Bubble Mask. Refreshing Pore Care Oxygen Bubble Mask. Okay. Oh, and I got two. All right now. Yep, so I got two of these. I can't wait to try these. It's always good to try something nice, new for your skin. And you got to be careful about putting everything on your skin, though. And what is this? This is Ofra Cosmetic Laboratories. And it's a blush melon. Oh, you guys, this is so beautiful. Let me see if I can show it to you without taking out the package. OMG, look at that. That is so pretty. That And this is right up my alley. This is right up my alley. Yes, ma'am. It's called Blush Melon. All right, because I definitely will be using that one. And then we have this. Look at this cute little packaging, you guys. 
That is so pretty. And Beauty Basics. What is this? Satin Taupe. It's a foiled, oh, foiled eyeshadow. And let me take it out. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. And so this is what it looks like when you take it out of the pack here. And then when we lift it up. Oh, this is pretty. You better come through. Look at that. I hope you all can see that. That is so pretty, you guys. Yes, I can't wait to use that one. All right, let me put it back in the pack. And what do we have next? We have a brush. Oh, yeah. And so this is the Luxie 245 Small Shader Brush. I love this rose color, too. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. And it's just a small brush here. Like that. And last but not least, we have the Jean Blue Ultra Lasting Formula Professional Makeup. Oh, it's a liquid eyeliner. And it's it's supposed to stay on for 24 hours. So it's just a, a black liquid eyeliner. I won't take the wrapping off of this because it's just liquid eyeliner. <laughs> so, oh, this is nice. Now, I'll say this. I don't use liquid eyeliners. I think you have to have a steady hand for that. And every time I've tried to use liquid eyeliners, child, I look, ended up looking like a raccoon by the eyes. So I just stick to the uh, eye pencils. It's just so much easier to maneuver. So that is our Ipsy, Ipsy bag for this month as we celebrate Pride Month. So you guys, that's all I have. That is all I have. I want to say thank you so much to my newest subscribers. I want to say thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. I love you guys to the moon. And just a quick reminder, please make sure you go to my website. I'll leave it in the description box to get your travel certificates, okay? Travel season is here. And... I'm just making a note to remind myself, but make sure I put the link for my, my website in the description box. Make sure you get your travel certificates, you guys, because I want you to go and travel. So I have the one to four night hotel stay, and I believe the airfare for two, and I also have a Vegas one. So I'm not sure which, I have to go and look and double check, but I do have certificates on my website. Make sure you go and get them. And I want to say the Vegas one is on my website. Hmm. But I do have an airfare and hotel for two certificates. So if you're interested in that one, reach out to me and I'll email it to you. That's not a problem at all. So again, that's all I have. Again, I want to remind you guys to pray big this week. This week and going forward, pray big for whatever it is that you're looking for. No prayer is too big and no prayer is too small for God to handle. So until next time, take care. Love you guys. And we will talk again soon.